Let's draw the Lewis structure for NO2. This is nitrogen dioxide. So nitrogen dioxide is a little bit tricky, so let's see what we can do. First off, for Lewis structures, we find the total number of valence electrons for the molecule. In the periodic table, that makes it a lot easier to do. If we find nitrogen right here, group 15, sometimes called 5A, that has five valence electrons. Oxygen, group 16, sometimes called 6A, that has six electrons, six valence electrons. We have two oxygen atoms. Total of five plus 12, that's 17. So we have an odd number of electrons for the NO2 Lewis structure. So we put the least electronegative atom at the center of our Lewis structure. That's going to be the nitrogen. And the oxygens go on either side. Next, we're going to put a pair of electrons between the atoms to form the chemical bond. So we formed our covalent chemical bond. We've used two, four of our valence electrons. Remember, we have 17. Let's complete the octets on the outside atoms first, the oxygens. At this point, each oxygen has an octet. We've used 16 valence electrons. Normally, when we're drawing Lewis structures, we're used to seeing pairs of electrons. In this case, we have a single electron. We're going to put it right here. And now we've used all 17 valence electrons. But the nitrogen only has five. So we can move some electrons from these outer atoms to the center and form some double or triple bonds. Let's see how that works. We move these two right here. We're still using 17, but now this oxygen has eight. The nitrogen has two, four, six, seven. This oxygen has eight. So we're close. But how do we resolve this problem here with this single electron and nitrogen not having an octet? In this case, we kind of just have to live with this. This is an exception to the octet rule, and it's one of the exceptions that you might see in school. Note that we could have put this pair of electrons here to form our double bond and have a single here. That would be the same structure. We would call that a resonance structure. In reality, the actual structure is an average of the double bond here and here. So you kind of end up with a one and a half bond between each one of these atoms. It looks sort of like this. And remember, we have our one lone pair here on the nitrogen, and in oxygens they have lone pairs as well. And we end up having a bent molecular geometry. This lone pair is actually pushing down, so we end up with this bent molecular geometry for NO2. So either way, this is the best Lewis structure for NO2, nitrogen dioxide, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.